Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri. And now a new round of storms drenching already soaked ground. A flood barrier giving away in Iowa, inundating downtown Burlington. In Arkansas, a 200-foot hole in a levee. Residents are being told to evacuate. Waters near Little Rock are rising fast and are expected to go up another foot. The river has just been devastating. None of us ever dreamed this would happen. It's traumatic, I know, but we'll get through it. Volunteers filling up sandbags, racing against time to hold back relentless water. The Arkansas River is at its highest level in 74 years. The Federal Communications Commission is working to roll out 5G technology. Yeah, but weather experts say the move could impact how accurate your forecast is. So, AJ, break this down for us. Uh, how are these two things connected? right in order to get 5g right debate heating up in washington over 5g it's going to revolutionize uh, the way that we use and experience technology the new wireless uh, tech would supercharge like your super mobile cats. device promising faster speeds and less lag time but that advancement could impact other sectors we we're looking at data loss uh, possibly large enough to prevent us from meeting our mission requirements. Weather experts warn this would degrade the forecast skill by up to 30 percent. This spring, the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, auctioned radio spectrum in the atmosphere to companies looking to make 5G a reality. But one of the frequencies is right next to the one used by weather satellites that help make forecasts. The fear? 5G interference will impact weather sensors. According to the study, uh, would result in roughly a 77% data loss from our passive microwave sounders. Get the FCC the has pushed here. back on that. In a letter to Congressman <clears throat> Frank Lucas, Chairman Ajit Pai says their decisions, quote, will continue to be based on sound engineering rather than exaggerated and unverified last-minute assertions. It isn't a case of them not listening. Um, but it is a case of somebody has to say, well, whose concerns went out? Right now, the FCC what is moving freak. forward. Auctions for this frequency have closed with 99% of licenses awarded, which NOAA says isn't the problem. <laughs> NOAA and the Department of Commerce <coughs> support 5G. Dr. Neil Jacobs wants rules in place to ensure critical weather tech isn't compromised. I'm optimistic that we can come up with an elegant solution where passive microwave sensing of 5G can coexist. So even hurricane information would suffer, reducing lead time by as much as two to three days, which is even more concerning with these storms picking up in intensity. Uh, it's important to note also that uh, NOAA supports uh, the 5G release because it would help disseminate the information even faster. They just want to make sure that the frequencies don't overlap because if they do, that's when it becomes an issue. The data that uh, the satellites gather could get compromised and then you're putting in bad data into the models you could put in bad data into the models you're going to get even worse data once those models have had a chance to run so that's kind of the nuts and bolts well, at least of it. they're admitting you know we got to work on this before it's yeah you out. know it's fully supported we just got to make sure that those frequencies like i say they just they don't touch each other otherwise we're good Touch on today's weather? All right, shall we? Yeah, we have some really poor visibility out there, and that's why there's a fog advisory in place across much of eastern and southeastern Massachusetts. This goes through 8 o'clock in the morning, kind of just like what we had yesterday, although it's a little more widespread out there right now. Look at the visibility. It's down to half a mile in many locations, uh, even a quarter mile in P-Town right yeah, now, and uh, the fog has reached all the way out toward Worcester at present we as well. Temps right now in the low 50s garbage. across the board, across the uh, metro area, and really back toward Orange and Springfield. Likewise, mid-50s, Hyannis, Nantucket, and the